This is natural gas. Australia has an abundance of it and we use it to fire up our stoves and our ovens and to heat our homes. Can we, I wonder, use it to drive our motor cars? Well, yes we can. There were a number of them taking part in our story on the National Energy Challenge in 1994. Not the least of which was this Ford Prime Mover. Now, Daewoo have built a natural gas version of their current Cielo to prove the production engineering viability of such a car. This Cielo is well past the experimental stage and set up to run exclusively on natural gas and my first drive of it seems to indicate that it works perfectly well. But before the drive, John Crawford of Daewoo showed the modifications made to the usual petrol vehicle. Fuel lines, pressure regulators and fuel gauge sender units underneath and up above. So this is a composite tank, that means it's made from carbon fibre. It's very light, keeps the weight of the vehicle down and helps the power to weight ratio. And it's vented to the outside by this bag okay. down here on the right hand side. And the tank is filled from the conventional filler on the right hand side of the car and a special valve. Under the bonnet there are changes to the fuel supply system, to some internal componentry and to engine timing. Well, I've been driving this car now for long enough to know one thing. The fact that it's being powered by natural gas makes no difference at all to its performance. It's lively, it's responsive, it just feels as if it's being driven on ordinary petrol, gasoline. So, John, why did Daewoo build a natural gas car? Well, in the search for lowering emissions, uh, the attempt was to have a range of power plants that produced the lowest possible gas emissions. And that's why we went for natural gas. Is it practical, though? Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, in terms of reaching emission standards, this engine was designed to meet California's ultra-low emission vehicle, ULEV emissions, which aren't due to come into force until 1998. They're the most stringent emission regulations in the world, and this vehicle meets and exceeds ULEV. So those are the advantages. What about disadvantages? Well, I guess in Australia, the major disadvantage at the moment is uh, where can you drive a natural gas powered vehicle mm. and the, the, the answer is not very many places because there's no refuelling infrastructure in place at the moment. Um, probably a small community like Canberra would be ideal where you had three or four filling stations and uh, you wouldn't have a problem because you wouldn't be covering great distances. But it's a bit of a catch-22 situation until such time as we've got a, a refuelling infrastructure around the nation then you can't drive the cars. Uh, you can't introduce the cars until you get the uh, the refuelling set up mm. and also of course uh, there's no point in, in bringing the cars in at that point uh, but they're certainly a possibility they're a practical possibility why would we want natural gas powered cars well it's a cheap fuel although our politicians would probably change that if it became popular we have huge quantities of natural gas and it's a very clean fuel as we've heard but there is also the possible convenience of being able to refuel at home and charge the fuel on the home gas account. It may be a while off yet, but it's all certainly possible. Thanks, John. Daewoo's venture into future technology is important for all of us, and not just because of the cost of fuel. It's most important because of keeping our city's air clean. Now, if you'd like any more information on any segment on tonight's program,